Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my 2020 Rolling Project 10 Pan. So if you're interested in my update, just keep on watching. Okay guys, this is my second update. I am actually filming this about two weeks early because I finished some things and I wanted to roll some new projects in. So the products I was working on, the first one was my Wet n Wild contouring palette. And I wanted to use this 15 times and I actually used it 24 times. So this is what this is looking like. And my goal is just to hit side pan over here. So it is getting smaller. Um, it's taking a lot longer than I thought. Um, but I really do enjoy this product, so I'm going to keep on working on this. The next product I have is my bronzer from Becca. And it, mine's in the shade Bali Sands. I wanted to use this 15 times, and I used it 26 times. But it looks like I haven't used it at all. This is what it looks like. Still no progress at all. For some reason, this is like taking me forever. And I just want to hit pan on this, but I still really like it. I'm wearing it today. It's a really good natural shade to just warm up my face. So yeah, I'm just going to continue with this. And I actually forgot to mention, I do have goals for next time. I want to use the Wet n Wild contour shade 20 times. Um, before my next update and I want to use this one 20 times before my next update as well Let's see the next product I have is a really exciting one. It is my Mary Luminizer highlight from the balm. I love this um, I wanted to use this 15 times and I used it 19 times and my goal was to hit pan and I did I'm so excited. I thought this would take a lot longer than it did, but before I put it in the pan, I already had a lot of use on it. It's one of my favorite highlighters, but yeah, I'm really excited about this, but I'm also excited to roll something else in in its place. So that's what this looks like, and it's a pretty decent size pan. If I kept this in, I think I could expand the pan uh, quite easily. Um, maybe I'll throw this in another project pan sometime, but I am really excited to have hit my goal on this and to be rolling something else in. The next product I have is another exciting one. This is my, bl my blush in Space Case. It's kind of like a cream to powder blush, and I wanted to use it 10 times, and I did. I only had to use this 6 times before I hit pan. And that was my goal for this project, product, and it looks like this. So I'm super excited. Blush is really hard uh, to hit pan on, but because this was a cream blush, this was much easier. But I really did enjoy using this. I did have quite a bit of use again on this before I put it in. But yeah, so I'm excited to have that and to also roll in a new product. The next product I have is my ColourPop Concealer. I wanted to use this 20 times and I used it 22 times. My lines from the, um, when I put it in in the last update, I think I just put it in the last update, but anyway, they rubbed off. But I'm all the way down to here, so I'm pretty close to finishing it. I think I'm down there, I would say. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but yeah, it's pretty light, so I would like to finish this in the next like month or month and a half. That would be really awesome. And I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to end up taking the stopper out. There's still a lot of product coming out, so maybe I have more left than I think. But I have been enjoying this one. Again, I'm wearing this today. The next product I have is my Marc Jacobs highlighter. I wanted to use this 10 times and I used it 14. And this one I can't really show progress on, but um, it is a really pretty like brown bronzy color. 
So yeah, I'm just going to keep using this one. Um, next time, I want to up my goal to 12 uses since I did use it 14 this time. The next product I have is my Clinique Lip Liner in Bamboo. And I wanted to use this one 15 times, and I did use it 15 times. This one, you can kind of see the packaging's clear, so I have from here to there left. And I um, did mark this on a piece of paper so I can show you my progress lines. This is slow going, but I'm okay with that. I enjoy the lip liner. I'm wearing it today. And um, my goal for next time is, again, just to use it 15 times. So this right here are my lines. I was there for the first update, and I am down here for the second update. So that's pretty decent progress. The next product I have is another lip product from Clinique. And it is the Clinique Lipstick and Sugar Plum Plop Pop. Um, I wanted to use this one 20 times, and I actually used this 32 times. I used it so much. It's a really comfortable sheer lipstick, almost like a lip balm. So this is what this is looking like. I'm getting so close to finishing this, but this is still going to take a while. But I am enjoying this, but there are some other lip products I'd really like to roll in. And again, I will show you my paper for this one because I do have it on a paper. So right here is the intro line. This is the first update and this is the second update. So I really did make a lot of progress. I just have to get it done to there to be finished. But I did use it a couple of times as a cream blush and I really like it like that. I have it on my lips and as a blush on my face today. And the next time I want to use that one 25 times. The next product I have is another lip product. Um, it is my MAC lip gloss in the shade Love Child. I wanted to use this one 10 times and I used it 17 times. I marked this one wrong last time. I thought I was like only down to there. I'm not really sure, but I am down to here right now. So there's not a lot left. I would love if I could finish this by my next update because I really want to roll in a different lip gloss. But if I scrape the sides with the wand, that's kind of where it's showing me I'm at. It's hard to show you on camera, but I think that's all I have left. And I might or might not take out the stopper. Most likely I will, but it will probably get pretty messy, so it might be hard to use after I do that. But a lot of product is still coming out on the wand. But again, I've really been enjoying this. Um, the next product I had in was my Chella Brow Gel. And I wanted to use this 20 times, and I did, and it is now completely empty. Like, there is nothing inside. So I'm really excited to have that finished. I really enjoyed this. And um, eventually I'd like to purchase another clear brow gel that has a formula like this. It holds your brows in place really well without making them too stiff. But for now, I'm really happy to have that finished. And then I had one bonus product, and that was a perfume. And that is my Vera Wang and Brace perfume, and it's in the scent Green Tea and Pear Blossom. And I wanted to use this 20 times, and I used it 29 times. And you can see the lines. The progress is slow but steady. So I just want to finish this by the end of the year, and I think I should be able to. So um, because I did hit my goal or completely finished three products, I am rolling in three more. The first product I am rolling in is my Morphe Setting Spray. And this is feeling pretty light, so I don't know how much is left in this. Um, this is my newest setting spray, and if this is gone by the next update, which I think it might be, I use this up so quickly, <laughs> um, but I want to put this in, and I want to use this 20 times. There might not even be 20 uses left, but anyway, I'm throwing this in. 
And then the next product I'm throwing in is an eyeshadow. It is a ColourPop Super Shack shadow. And this one is in the shade Frog. And I just want to use this one seven times because I am doing a Pan That palette. And then I also have a project I'm doing um, 10 uses on with eyeshadows in it. But this is a really pretty shadow. I have it on my eyes today. It's kind of like a sheer shadow with like glitters in it. I'll swatch it for you. It's so pretty. And these super sock shadows are um, pretty easy to hit pan on and that's what my goal is. It's kind of like a sheer topper shadow. It's hard to see, but that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. And I think it's a perfect shade for spring. So I want to use that at least seven times before my next update. And my goal is to hit pan. And then because I hit pan on my highlighter, I wanted to roll in another one. So I chose a shade from my ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And um, the shade I chose is Glow Getter, which is this gold shade. I really, really like this palette. It's pretty glittery. I have it on today, and I tend to use it more in the spring and summer, so I thought this would be a perfect one to roll in, and I tend to like gold highlight better in the spring and summer, so this is what I'm rolling in, and this is what it looks like. There's not a whole lot of use on this, and I just want to hit pan on it, so that could definitely take a while, but this is a year-long project, so hopefully by the end of the year, I could hit pan on that. So that is my update. I got, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like Project Pan videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.